So this past week, we went to Arkansas for American Thanksgiving and surprised my parents and it was successful. It was so much fun. But like any good Canadian, what did I do when I got here? I went to a local Target. Canada, you understand. And while we were there walking the aisles, we found, came across this film camera, which I didn't even know Target carried them. But we came across this really cute green film camera, picked it up. We love experimenting with like little new film cameras and I'm gonna try this one out. So the last time I was in Arkansas, there was one day where I found myself getting into, I don't know how many different types of vehicle. It occurred to me like, I don't know that this is everyone's experience. So I'm gonna take a trip down memory lane and show you all of my childhood wheels. So I pulled out a rooster to Arkansas. One way tracks. As I'm going through the timeline of childhood wheels that I drove, I'm gonna be taking film photos along the way with this camera. So I popped in Portra 400 film. I tried to find Kodak gold, but it's really hard to find. So we're gonna see how it turns out on Portra 400. So let's see how it goes. So this is the OG. Imagine five-year-old me. Um, I was the go-to ride. Relatives from out of town would come in. I'd give them a good like heart attack ride. I was so short at that point. I could only drive kind of like skimming the seat. <laughs> I was pretty much standing up and going as fast as I could. So I spent hours on this. Oh yeah, I remember what I was gonna tell you. Okay, so there were times where me and my siblings would hook a tarp behind this thing and we would imagine that the mule, that's what this is called, was a ski boat. <laughs> I, that's so dangerous. Anyway, but we would like have like sleeping bags or blankets or whatever and you'd hold on for dear life and you'd really like catch some waves. So this beast is a 2000 Ford Excursion diesel. Um, this is what I took my driver's test in at 14. So the lady definitely asked if I'd ever driven it before. I feel like I might have told her that I'd never driven it before. And then been like, I was just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she was petrified because literally my driving test, I literally took three, four right turns. That's it. So this is a 1985 Toyota pickup truck. Um, I think it's pretty cute now, but back in the day when I had to drive it, um, I did not feel those same feelings. Me and my sister definitely tried to avoid driving this as much as possible, but it wasn't possible. My friends at school nicknamed it the Ferrari, and I won't tell you about um, the squirrel scenario because that's a whole nother thing. I probably should have had my license taken away at one point, but the police officer thought it was hilarious that I could get this thing going as fast as I did. So this 66 Volkswagen Bug is definitely the car I drove the most. I have such good, affectionate memories of driving this car. Me and Luke even used it as our getaway car after our wedding. This is my brother's car, but he allowed me to drive it when I turned 16. Um, I remember trying to get to school that first day, driving by myself. I've been practicing driving stick shift with my dad, but I still stalled at like every single stoplight, but I made it and then I got better from there. It looks much better now. It's been fully restored. I still thought it was beautiful and I drove it, but it has since been a major facelift. I actually drove like we a few weeks with no brakes because my brakes went out. I didn't want to drive the little red truck and we couldn't get it in to get repaired right away. So I learned how to downshift and use the emergency brake. For one time on my way home from school, um, I was at a stoplight and I went to accelerate and um, I like started going and I went to continue to accelerate like a normal person and my pedal, my gas pedal fell off. And I was like, uh, like what do I do? So I tried to like push underneath it and nothing happened. So then I coasted into this like gas station and um, I didn't have a cell phone at the time. So I like was like, okay, how do I like, I need to call home. So I like scrounged through like anywhere in the car that had change. And I went to a pay phone at the gas station and I called home and I got my dad and I was like, uh, so daddy, my gas pedal just fell off. And he was like, what? Like, I was like, my gas pedal just fell off. And he was like, Allie, you can make it work. Click. I love the girls from Maine to California I've held them tight and promised I'd be back <laughs> I'm so bright! I'm so bright! 
And I start making one-way tracks One-way tracks 